So our podcast is mainly about the perspective of kind of the world from an Asian teenager. But we basically just talk about being like a minority teen living in California and our perspective on current events and like political issues that are happening. And it's also about culture and society. I think mainly it was that there were a lot of issues that were going on during this time that really affected us. And there were certain issues like affirmative action that would impact us a lot. So we definitely were very opinionated on certain topics and we felt like there was no one speaking out for our perspective and what we thought. We wanted to kind of be like a voice and we kind of just want to tell people what we thought of certain issues and yeah political topics that are going on jasmine and i we've known each other since elementary school our families are pretty close like we travel um, around the world together we go skiing in different states together we travel to different countries together we're kind of like cousins almost kind of like family so it just like worked really well for us. We would probably both say it's our affirmative action episode because that one we actually had to re-record. So the first time we recorded it, since we're really passionate about this topic, like it came off very one-sided. And so we tried to re-record it and make it a little bit more objective. And now we're just doing some discussions so that people get both sides of the argument. We live in suburbia, so we're suburban. But for those of you who don't know what a banana is, a banana is people in Asia, they'll make fun of us. ABCs or American born Chinese or Asian Americans as bananas because it means that you're yellow on the outside, but you're white on the inside. You know, you look like an Asian, but inside you're really white. Not a very pleasant saying. I mean, us Gen Zers, we have a strange sense of humor we just always thought it was really funny so we just like adopted the name and just like yeah we are asian americans we definitely do have this like um, asian perspective but we also have this western perspective and i feel like that's what makes our podcast interesting you should find someone who is going to keep you accountable for your work hey we need to um, come out with good content we need to post these episodes or else the other person is going to be disappointed in us and it's not like toxic peer pressure, but it is enough to keep each other accountable for our work. It motivates us to expand our platform and to like do more because we always want to kind of like outdo each other almost. Yeah, I would agree. That's good. Like definitely don't do it by yourself. Like I understand some people want solo podcasts and that's good, but I, I would say like find someone to help you out. I think the most important part is not the production, but getting people to listen. So Sophie and I just literally, we're always like shooting our shot. Like I've gotten rejected by so many people, but <laughs> I just like go and finesse myself like sponsorships and just market myself to everybody. So I would say just remember that like the listens trickle in very slowly and just don't be discouraged.